is dead, there he is. Will ever be. God Almighty. To those who are out here in the sanctuary, who are fathers, God bless you. But a special prayer to the dads who are out there that may not even know that they're fathers. Because they don't know where they should be gone. Yeah. It's that day who is less fortunate than we are, yeah. sleeping under the bridge yeah, yeah. in prison. Mm -hmm. To the dad who is confused and thinks there's no hope. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Bible says, such for some of us. Yeah. To that dad who their child never says thank you to. Mm -hmm. To that father who's yeah. never been told yeah. by their children that I love you. So that day this morning that you are angry with him, that you don't speak to him. That day, may God touch him and touch the hearts of the children that they realize how awesome and amazing a father really is. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, would you first touch each of our hearts? Forgive us of all our sins, our trespasses, and iniquities against you. Others than ourselves. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Thank you, Father, that when you call on the God, it's always there. You say that we abide in you and your word abide in us. Ask what we will. So now I tell you, I'm able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask for. According to the power and the spirit that dwell and work in us. Thank you, God, for being our Father. Thank you. For showing us just how much you love us in spite of who we are. Thank you for your forgiveness that you've shown toward us and all that we've done. You've always been there. You said in your word that if we had the faith the size of a mustard seed, we can ask mountains to be moved and it shall be done. Every mountain and every day's life on this day, Father, what you move Give us the strength and the power we need to continue to trust you. You said for us to cast all our cares upon you, for you care for us. Bless on this day every Father. No matter where he is, how high or how low, turn their hearts toward you. Give them no peace until they totally surrender their lives to you. Open their eyes that they might see through your eyes. Strengthen them where they're weak, build them up where they're torn down. Pray on this day that they will believe and receive on the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you for those dads who have been called uh, to be in a position where they are not rid of their children. Would you trust them too? And even the mothers stood up in the gap for their sons and daughters taking their dad's place because he was absent. Those dads who are in the military are wrong, they're fighting in wars. Would you touch them? The dad who slipped on the wayside, Lord, who was dealing drugs, strung out on drugs, that dad. That dad who was in pain and realized in his heart that he cannot function without you. Would you touch him, Lord? The one that didn't sleep last night. He's trying to figure out how to make me his meat for his children. Touch that dad. That dad who feels that he can put aside receiving your son for another Sunday, another Father's Day. Let him do it today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. So when dads will not say, we should touch them in a special way, they will come running on this day. As in, what must I do to be saved? And thank you for being the father, the dad that you are. You are our father. Lord in heaven. Hallowed be thy name and thy kingdom come. Thank you for being who you are. Bless this church, our pastor, and every church door that is open that is preaching the gospel. Amen. Church dads all over the land, including those who are in wars, rumors of wars, and those who have rejected you, the greatest father that is. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.